Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Americas, Cold War, whatever. Somebody was like, mighty maybe, but not great, when I said great American hoo-ha thing. Um, yeah, okay. I, I guess, you know, if you want to be, if you want to be that kind of person, then whatever. That's your, your business. So did I send all those units off then? I don't know where the, uh... The ships would be exactly um, oh they're coming back I guess yeah I guess they're coming back then all right then uh, okay <laughs> okay whatever so we have an American presence in um, in China and uh, this area of Russia I don't know what this would be called technically part of Siberia I don't really know I'm not totally sure, to be quite honest, but whatever. Um, you know, nothing I can really do about it, I guess. So, yeah. We have military presence. Uh, it's not all that amazing and strong, but it's certainly a military presence. So, that's kind of good. And then we started having a military presence here. And apparently we are a little bit stronger uh, in this part of the world, um, and a little bit more successful at taking it over. As you can clearly see, with the absolutely ridiculous amount of troops, um, bombing and around and trying to attack certain places. So, that's kinda good, I guess. We, we're making some headway on, uh, in the, on the European front, which I didn't expect to happen right off the bat. I thought that, um... I, I, I didn't think it would happen right off the bat. But it did, and that's a good thing. It's a very good thing. So I'm just going to take over Talon and then, and then here, and then send all my troops to, uh, to try and take St. Petersburg there. So let's let's go and try to take St. Petersburg. Let's, let's do that. Uh, you attempt to take that little town. See, my problem, too, is, is that I'm going to have just so many units trying to do so many things. And now I'm going to move them south, because I think taking Minsk is going to be something that we should definitely attempt to attain. It just seems like something that would be smart to try and get a hold of. I mean, the more, the more stuff we can get a hold of, the better off we're going to be here in the long run. So, I just want these units here to be able to... Okay, you guys can repair. That's perfectly justified. Uh, what are you fuckers doing? If you're going to repair, that's cool. If you're not going to repair, just... Stop. <laughs> just, you know. Okay, you guys should retreat. Fall back. You can repair... Oh, oh I said... Oh. Repair. There we go. Okay, so we take in St. Petersburg. We now have a major city. Let's just take this whole peninsula, really. There's a little town there. And there's aircraft fabrications going in there, so... Probably in our better interest to take that over, but... Probably not overly necessary, I guess. Again, good to try to. Not necessary to. And this is a fabrication. Take said fabrication, please. Minsk is ours, so that's good. Well, more or less ours. We're now fighting Zo Zodino. Or Zodino. Zohuho. I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know ho. That's who it is. Let's position these guys. I mean, we have these two tanks as well. Let's see, we're going to bomb the, the aircraft that's there. Oh, there goes the Russians. We're giving up. As soon as we attack it. We haven't even... I don't think we'll even take it. Oh! There goes the Finns, you know. And there, yeah, there goes the Finnish military. 
see, we're not going to take that over, but we're definitely going to try and take this over. So, ooh, hey, retreat. Pull back. Let's see if we can take that. Let's see if you can try to take that. Oops. Let's see if we can just take this back over. I do want that land. I do want that fabrication. I I don't want to have to give that up. I really do want that fabrication. Um, seems like something that would definitely assist me. Have we taken that? Yes, we have. We took that town and that fabrication. So we're definitely we're definitely making some headway, and that is really good. And Serbia just got its royal butt whooped by Hungary, and Bulgaria and Romania, somewhat Bosnia, somewhat Macedonia. Okay, whatever. Whoever wanted to have a piece of that, I guess now has a piece of that. Seems like Turkey is getting its butt whooped, which is surprising, because Iran usually is not this um, uh, aggressive. Generally, Iran's fairly unaggressive with uh, its wars with, like, Turkey and the such. I assume, yes, Israel has gone into massive debt. Israel is no longer a uh, any sort of power in this world, anyway. Oh, they're at war with Croatia. That's very, that's interesting. So that war over there is going well. How's this one going? Certainly is going, that's for sure. Should probably, you know, go after that town first there, fellas. So we have, yeah, we have some Americans up in there. The problem with this is we have a very minimal uh, force size sitting in. So let's load into the uh, Gerard. Load into the Nimitz. There we go. And all these units, we don't want these units, I'm sorry. Uh, I will drag more units from the north. I don't want southern units to go for the simple fact that if I do end up getting into a war with Mexico, I'm going to want those units here in America, so let's take some northeast. Because I'm not exactly worried about Canada uh, declaring massive war on me. Not by a long shot. The Mexicans, though, I am a little bit worried. And I know I can hold them off with what I have, considering, again, I am producing units, too, in America. <laughs> so, so long as I keep the southern units uh, south of, like... What is this, Fort Campbell area? So in the Panhandle and in uh, Texas and such and Southern California, then I'm not exactly worried about that. Plus, I just, you know, I have my Air Force. I'm not, it's not something I'm going to be panicking about per se. What is that? Oh, yeah, the city. America. Anything in America should probably go to the Russians. I would like to be able to... Um, successfully you know, destroy the Russians before I destroy the Chinese. Because the Chinese are technically handled, because I'm only on one front with them right now, and the South Koreans are doing quite a good job at just keeping them at bay. And so long as I can keep that job up, I'm not really frightened by anything. So, yeah. And the first of those units should be getting out. Okay, they're starting to get there. So I'll move the Gerald and the Nimitz out. Nimitz, Nimitz. There we go. And these units are going to get here. No. Sorry about that. I had to uh, pause it for a second. So I had to wait for those units to get in. So yeah, my main concern, of course, is you know stuff like... What the fuck? Where are they going? Who else are you at war with, guys? Huh. Looks like they just had, like, a weird thing. I don't even know what they're trying to do. Where are they going? Oh, they're actually trying to land in China. Well, they're enemies with a lot of people, actually. Um, holy shit. Myanmar, Pakistan, Russia, Uzbekistan, Vietnam. Wow, there's a lot of people. Don't send your units off, guys. Come on, don't be stupid. We need those in warring China. Like, that's very obvious, I would think. But I guess I'm just not as versed in the beautiful art 
There we go. So we have those built now, so let's start producing things. Um, oh, look, there's a Q. Screw you. And screw you. Let's build Bradleys. Let's build a bunch of Bradleys. Just a shit ton of Bradleys. Hold on, let's fucking scroll up here. 20-something Bradleys. There we go. 50-something Bradleys. I'm going to build another... Uh, Military land fabrication. I'm gonna build it here on the border, so it's you know far away and safe. Um, let's attempt to going north there. Let's go south here. Yeah, so they're actually trying to assault me now. <laughs> they're like, oh, we should probably send actual units to fight the Americans. They're actually kind of a bother. I'm like, yes, I am kind of a bother, thank you. I'm glad you noticed me in this way. I'm very happy about this. I think we're going to be able to break through that line. I think we are. I think we are. Because I seem to be mostly focusing not on... No. Things. Actual things. Yes! We have broken said line. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. He's going to retreat south. So I want this city. Because I kind of want to land there. Um, I'm going to send them off and hope that they actually do something. Oh wait. What? I'm getting attacked. Damn it. I guess that tends to happen, doesn't it? When you're at war with a nation. Oh, dude! We took them all out. Brilliant. Attack units. I can wait for them to get killed off. There we go. Okay, or not. Or I can just do that. Kill them off anyway. I'll send him up there. Okay, so we are firing southwards. So this is the front I'm most concerned about, because it's a little bit fragile. Um, which is fine. See, this front, holy tits. See, this front, we might just kill the Russians before I even care about it, so, you know. Because this front is just absolutely insane. It has a whole fucking, like, agenda of its own. Uh, I guess we should send them into there. See, half of these are damaged, though, so the concern comes with, uh... You know what, we should just take that, honestly. We should really just take that over. Why did we not take that over? Prepare that Bradley. So yeah, part of my concern is definitely... I don't know what's going to happen here. This, there's just so many fucking American troops. I didn't think we had this many going in. But apparently we have a whole, whole deal. Blah, blah, blah. We have a lot. We have enough where it makes me go... Blah, 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 blah. There's a lot of units if you are not familiar with the unit types. It's a very large amount of units. It's enough units to overpower the Russians in Europe. I didn't think we had that many. I know we had a few, but I didn't think we had that many. However, the, uh, the Chinese... This could be a short series, actually. Because, um, again, I'm only going after Russia and the Chinese. So this could be quite the short series, to be quite honest. Um... I guess it doesn't help the Russians that they're kind of at war with China as well. Um, that wouldn't... I don't think that would help your uh, your cause all that much. Wouldn't, I, I don't... I, I, in fact, I know it won't help your cause all that much. You know. Alright. So load into Wasp. Oh no, don't do this now. Buddy, go back. Load into that Wasp. Load into that Wasp. And then load into the Nimitz. And then everybody else. And trench about it and be happy. And then we send the rest of these stupid bastards to outside of Pusan. Yeah, whatever, let them go. Oh, stop him. Go after. See, we have a very limited source of troops over here. That concerns me a little bit. Wait, are we at war with the... Oh, this is a Russian city? Yes, a town. The town of Cursed. Everybody, attack everybody, except for you, you go repair. You, go up there. Honestly, if we're going to be attacking anything, I think... Ooh, they're sending in things. Ooh, I don't like when they send things in. Ooh. 
Actually, no, they can do that. And I can just storm the place. Oh, that's a town. Alright, whatever. Send troops that way. This should be producing things. Diplomatic offer from the Dutch. Sure, Dutch. I will give you things. Mm. Mm. I'll just let them go. I guess they're doing a fucking good job, aren't they? Not like they're not. Where are you guys going? Get back in down there. Fuck up there. We don't care about up there. That is not our concern. It's definitely not our concern. Our concern is in the capital of regions. You guys should probably repair. And we have the Ukraini. Uh, Ukraine helping us as well. Ukrainians. Is that other Ukrainians, right? Yeah. They, we have them now, which is good. Because we definitely are going to need it now that we're getting closer and closer to the Russian capitals. Come on. Take that city. Brilliant. Take that city now. Everybody's going to take that city. Do 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 do. <laughs> Go repair, that's fine. Everybody take that city. Everybody fucking go that way. Screw that place. 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 You go that way. Screw them. Screw all of them. Where are you going? Oh, okay. You should all be attacking the Capital Regents. We don't care about North. We really don't care about the North. Honestly. How's that fucking still standing? Take that out. You too. Take that out. We're getting very close to Moscow. It's also, it's very delighting and also very concerning. Ooh, what's that? Is that a town? Ooh, yeah, it's not gonna be fun to take over. Let's not try that, actually. It's everybody. Go up here, please. Thank you. Attack that city. Go attack that city. <laughs> Don't fight that city. Go get yourself killed at that city. It's much better. It's a much better city to go try and get killed at. They're definitely losing a fair amount of units, though. I will admit that. It's not all sunshines and roses. Although the Ukrainian help is definitely highly appreciated. Did not expect to have any sort of outside help. And, well, we do. That's just fantastic. Uh, we should probably be attacking inter... Yeah, not there. If I was me, and I am me, which is probably a very scary and also somewhat good thing. See, I let the Russians just do whatever they want down there. They're not going to get very far. I don't think. Stupid little Vodniks. Kill those little bastards. Get up there. Take over that city. The Vodnik will be dealt with. This is not something we concern ourselves with. Vodnik will not survive. Pew pew, motherfucker. Okay, maybe the Vodnik will survive for a little bit. No, uh, oh yeah, whatever. Everybody I know. Well, it looks like we could take Russia this episode. I will be shocked if we are actually able to take Russia this episode. They don't have anything. Everybody just there. Just go. Oh, hello. Who are you people? Oh, you are not. Who, uh... You are not anybody that's going to be helpful <laughs> in anything ever, unfortunately. Just that one to take. Back up, back up, back up. Everybody back up. Everybody back up. Fudge pickles up. Fight that city. Everybody should fight that town. That town. Even though that town's gonna fight them first. Those poor shits. How's it going over here? Uh, making headway. Good. Good, good. I would like them now to focus more on the Chinese, I guess. Defend that area for sure. Uh, Mm, not all of them have gotten here yet. They're getting there, though. 
I am enemies with Iran. Didn't know that. Oh yeah, that's right. Bulgaria is also at war with multiple other nations. I forgot about that. To the Russian capital, my people. To the Russian capital. Rush Moscow. Rush it. And the problem is too, though, is we're getting attacked from other towns. It's not just Moscow we have to worry about. Which is a problem, because Moscow is definitely a worry. It's something we want to take here. And uh, it's not going to be... Not going to be really fully easy, either. Because... Like, yeah. Oh, that's Russian? That's interesting. I didn't know that belonged to Russia. Wait, I did. I just forgot, I guess. Mm -hmm. One does when one is the ruler of an empire. So long as we can keep this unit numbers up, we're probably going to be able to take them, and then we're going to have, you know, Russia... You know, fairly, I don't know how much of Russia, but we're going to have some of Russia, anyway. Oh, careful. Don't get killed. Repair. Just bomb everything. That's what I'm like. I'm just like, eh, bomb everything. That's fine. Who cares? Just bomb stuff. How close are we here? Well, we've almost got the garrisons down, but we still have a hefty fight ahead. What about that? Oh yeah, we're not even trying there, apparently. Apparently we're not even trying. We're just like, whatever. What are you doing, you idiot? And you're dead. Because you're an idiot. Come on, all units, please. No. Stop doing that. Go down there. Attack that town. Blow it up. Very appreciative. If you done diddly do da do that did it. If you done diddly do da that, I'll be quite happy. I wonder how much of Russia I'm actually going to get, because the Ukraine here is going to definitely take a chunk, and then China is going to take a huge fucking slice, which kind of sucks to be quite honest, um, because the Chinese are going to be really difficult if they take a big ass chunk of Russia, because like let's be honest here, there. Oh, did we take it? We have it! We have Moscow. Keep Moscow. Strategy number one here. We did it! Oh, well, we got a big, big chunk. Okay, the Chinese got a really big chunk too. Are the Ukrainians at war with the Chinese? They are not. <laughs> that is unfortunate, because the Chinese just got a whole lot of troops, which is n not good. Yeah, they got a huge shit ton. Okay, everybody has to be good to go here. We have to, like, evasive actions. <laughs> uh, shit. Okay. What do we got? We didn't get a lot. Oh, we got a lot. Uh, we gotta get a carrier, I guess. Yippee. Did not get a lot of units, however. The Ukraine definitely got the best chunk of that. Shit. Okay. We're gonna have to wait for the supply to get into the Ukrainian areas. With any luck, the Ukraine will go to war with China. Can't see it happening, but, I mean, there are now borders on the border of China, so it is possible. I'm not ruling that out of the question. Now let's unload. Is that everybody? Yes. 87 units. Get the fuck up there. Get the fuck across the Atlantic again. We need those units now. I don't care if Mexico decides to declare war on me today. We need those units almost desperately at this point. Oh, we did take that. Good to know. Very good to know. Because the Chinese now have a big new resolve and a lot of extra units to pull from. So that's kind of bad. <laughs> and by kind of bad, I mean it's really bad. Um, like, super bad. It's really bad, too, for Mongolia. Because now Mongolia has... yeah... And they're going to activate those units against Mongolia, too. Oh, shit. I feel bad for them now. Uh, poor bastards. Poor, poor bastards. All right, so that supply is starting to come in nicely. Good, good. We're going to take our American Corps and send them over to that city. And hope they do their best. 
against the Chinese. We have defeated Russia already, thanks to a very strong military presence in Europe. So, now it's the Chinese. We are not allies with the Ukraine. I just realized this. Let's just get everything with them, that's fine. Ukraine. This is, this is a matter of Chinese attack. Everybody. Everybody just calm down, first of all. Let's get alliances. Come on. Oh, uh, come on. You know you want to. You know you want to. You know you want to. I mean, there you go. All right. Perfect. Send them over there to the Chinese. So we have lots of units attempting to attack here. See, the problem is I don't want them really to go north. I would really prefer them to not do that. So I prefer them to actually be fighting the Chinese on a front that's actually a feasible front. And of course, as I bring more troops over, the better it'll get, and especially if I'm fighting them on a two front. I mean, they've got Mongolia pretty well in the bag here if they can, you know, smartly assert their units. Um, really, Mongolia has nothing to defend them against that now, like, at all. But anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Peace.